Hi, this is Cheryl Creelan from Tipperary ETB and today I'm going to show you how to transfer a design onto a candle. They make gorgeous gifts and they're a really simple craft, very, very popular with my groups. So you need a pillar candle, a nice one large enough to take the design you want to put on it. Then you need a design of your choice. I use a serviette. Um, if you want to, you could use Christmas serviettes if you're doing Christmas candles birthday serviettes for birthday candles, wedding ones, whatever theme you like. I'm just going to use some simple flowers for today's design. You also need a piece of greaseproof paper. The white greaseproof paper is actually better because you can see your design through it as the process unfolds. And the other thing you need is a hairdryer. Now, if you have a heat gun, you can use that, but a hairdryer is something most of us will have at home, so it will cut your expenses. You'll also just need a scissors as well and some so What you do then is cut the piece of the design that you would like to use from your serviette. And this is again after removing the two back pieces because you don't want a lot of paper on the candle. So I just chose one part of the design, this just little piece. And because the background is white, I don't need to cut in around every flower. If you had a coloured background and you wanted a more transparent appearance on the candle, you would remove the background, okay? So as you can see, I'm just placing it where I want it on the candle and in the position I would like it to be on, on the candle, okay? I'm going to take a piece of greaseproof paper, and if you wish, you can tape it at the back to hold it. Just a little piece of sellotape. So as you can see, that's what I'm looking at right now. And when I apply the heat, the design will slowly melt into the candle. What you want to do is use your hairdryer on the hottest setting. Okay? This is the effect I'm looking for here, where the flower is very, very prominent in the design. It's almost greasy and wax-like, okay? That means that the wax has absorbed the paper, and I need to get that over the whole design before the candle is safe for burning. It's going to peel back the paper, and the candle is just waxy to the touch. If you have any little dribbles of wax, you can just roll it on your table. And that's the candle with the design imprinted into the wax with the greaseproof paper. Very quick craft. Very simple to do.